What is the crack, lads? We are back with another player power pack review. It's a bit of a tongue twister. If you've missed the previous episodes, we did the Barcelona, we did Neymar and Messi ambassador packs as well. So now we're moving on to the premium Bayern Munich pack, which is probably pound for pound and player for player, probably the best pack that I think most people have actually bought. So again, you don't have to buy these players. I'm going to show you, especially with Bayern, that there's a lot of the standard players that you can buy for GP that are more than capable of competing with these cards. And lads, I know a lot of people are asking for individual player reviews as well with clips and stuff. So I am looking at doing a couple of those. I have one or two ready to upload. But let me know in the comments below what players you would like to see reviewed as well. All right, let's crack on. All right, lads. So up next, we do have Bayern Munich, as we said. And we're starting off with legend up in Meccano. We get Lewandowski, Kimmich, Neuer, Nabry, Goretzka, Davies, Sané, Thomas Muller, Pavard, Musiala, Musiala, and uh, the 40 or the 60,000 trainer points as well as the XP. Now, I would say, right, there isn't much to talk about with this Bayern Munich team because I think hands down, pound for pound, this is definitely the best squad that you could possibly buy. If you are deciding to buy one of the power packs, I think that... It's very hard, very hard to look past this. Now, obviously, Man City, which we'll get to in a future episode as well. Man City are, like, really, really nice as well. But here, in my opinion, anyway, and we'll get into it in a second. In my opinion, Open McKenna, Lewandowski, Kimmich, Goretzka, and Davies are probably, like, end game that you don't, you won't really need to upgrade from those positions. You know what I mean? Like, they're just absolutely the best of the best. Now, obviously, you can get alternative players to them for gp which will be showing you in a minute but i think that you know those players especially are some of the best in the game and these versions of the players are some of the best of their cards now yeah we will head on over to efootballdb.com and we will take a look at up and and we'll take a look at the other stats now center backs right you're you're kind of spoiled for choice for center backs in efootball right especially for cheap because his normal card is 110,000. He goes to 25 levels. We'll get to that in a second. But Upper Meccano is a legend card here. I think the legends are in their own little pocket because they obviously have B form. And you can see that this guy's got 96 strength straight off the rip, right? So if we go down to his actual stats here, again, he is going to be playing with quick counter, which is slightly different and one of the most um, kind of easier to use. Uh, if you are just kind of like used to fast paced gameplay, it is one of the easier to use formations and play styles. Again, check out my video that I have done on that before. But if we just boost up his, his uh, progression bar here and we put him quick counter that we're going to go maybe two onto that to bring it up to 99. We've got 24 points, which isn't bad for a legend card, especially when we don't really need to touch his strength. All we really need to touch up is his defending here. That's all we need to do. And I would try and bring up his aggression maybe to about like an eight or a nine and then we're just going to work on his speed just bringing up that speed to maybe 70 and that's how i would probably level up up a meccano um he's an absolute beast in the game he's tall he's strong he's athletic he's got enough speed to be able to contend with the fastest players especially as a center back as your main man in the central uh partnership there whether you're playing a three at the back five at the back or four four two it doesn't matter this guy is incredible i think the only thing that lets him down is his acceleration but again his you know he's he's not going to be an on the ball player he's more of a brute stopper now if you wanted to kind of buy somebody similar like this apart from his normal card right so if we go into his normal card like yeah we can play a quick counter here and we can boost that up to 95 very very quickly and then we're just going to go to his acceleration and bring that up to 70 which brings him back in line with that so 78 and 70 we're going to bring that up to 78 we still have 27 spots and that's the same speed as his legend card right so now we can actually start playing around with some of the other stuff and bring that up a little bit so we can bring his strength up to 92 we're not going to get it all the way up to 96 unless we pump everything in there and i would just put the rest into his defense right there's no need for anything else we're not going to have a card that's going to be as good as this but a 90 rated compared to a 92 rated you know that you can buy this guy for free or for the in-game 110 gp price no coins um i think he is an absolute unit and definitely one that you could you could watch and you could buy um i think if you wanted to buy somebody like uh, pau torres is a good option that's similar to him or if you wanted to splash the cash and get van dyke them cards are going to be slightly better um but you know marquinos and any of those guys but again this guy apart from his um physical contact and aggression being one or two points below 
this standard card is actually you know excellent as well so some of the standard cards are well able to contend with the legend and the special edition cards next up we've got Lewandowski which again is a hugely high profile name again we're going to boost him up we're going to give him his two on quick counter or actually we can just give him one on quick counter it doesn't really make a difference and then from here like he's got 90 finishing there's no real need in touching that stat i would probably just boost up his dexterity we'll bring him up to a 75 and then i would probably bring up his uh, lower body strength to maybe about an 80 and that's how i would level him up as a 96 overall now i want to just say right if you guys have not watched the video that i did last week or a couple of days ago when we talked about this version of Lewandowski, who is available for free all you have to do is play five games against the ai and then you can redeem the reward that you get which is a five star nominating contract for this version of Lewandowski, which when you train him up and you put the quick counter on and you put his speed and his dexterity the same you can actually train him up a little bit better to be a 96 overall as well now this card is free you can get him for free check out the tutorial that i have on how to do this it's very simple it takes about 40 to 50 minutes and you can get this free version of Lewandowski so you don't need to actually buy you know if you don't want to buy this Bayern Munich pack and you're kind of on the fence you could buy Lewandowski and then you could buy the regular version of Upper Meccano for quite cheap next up Kimmich now I think when you start to peel away the layers if you are a newcomer and you're just thinking look I want to just compete from day one if you want a Man City at lads no disrespect to Man City fans you know all of our teams have have bought success in some way shape or form throughout the years but if you want to man city it or psg it and just make a huge splash you know you can't go wrong with Bayern munich you know and mostly everybody that i know that has bought packs have bought Bayern munich because you've got such an unbelievable array of talent in that starting 11 you know that doesn't really yeah you can buy the standard players but like for example like kimmich right so the regular version of kimmich is six hundred and ninety thousand gp you can pretty much buy the entire um barcelona squad that you would need for a million gp right you could pretty much buy like the starting 11 for barcelona for about 800 900 thousand gp whereas if you were to buy kimmich and you were to buy Lewandowski on the market like you're going to be spending about maybe 1.5 just on those two players like you know it's it's i think bang for your buck if you are looking to have an immediate impact and you want to compete and you just want a ready-made team um i think that you know you know that is the that is probably why most people are going to be interested in buying Bayern munich um but again kimmich we look at his standard card here and we'll do that first to switch it up a bit obviously we'll put quick counter on two which will bring him or to three which will bring him to a 93 that should be more than enough and then we're just going to focus on like kind of doing what he does best which is getting around the pitch breaking up the play you can obviously turn him into a right back as well if you wanted and he'd probably be one of the best right backs in the game except that he's just a little bit lacking on the pace we'll give him a couple of dribbling here as well to be able to bring the ball forward going to give him 80 80 speed 85 acceleration and then the rest is just going to be defending that's going to be what where we go with him uh to be a 93 overall player his stamina is high his ball control tight possession his speed his passing he's just the perfect all-round disruptor and he's kind of like a kante style player that just breaks up the play and breaks up players legs so his this version of his card here which we're going to be looking at for the, the the premium pack again five levels isn't going to really do anything here we boost up his quick counter um and his quick counter actually goes up to 90 with just one he's at 80 possession and 80 quick counter the rest are 70 as normal but then for his stats right we are going to be having a look at his pace and obviously try to bring that up a little bit bring his um bring that up to 78 we're not going to get anywhere else with that but 94 overall again we're going to be looking 80 and 85 there 78 and 85 there now where he does probably shine through a little bit more is his strength and his um dribbling and his shooting and stuff but again his finishing and his header is what brings this up here so do you actually need these stats it's a 71 and a 71 which increases his overall from a 93 to 94 I think the standard version of the card is, pro is probably better that you can put your own stamp on him so again that's why you do have to look at the 
the the stats and stuff. The only thing with this is it was a lot of grinding for the six hundred and ninety thousand. So that does factor in as well. So last but not least, we're going to look at Davies, one of my favorite players. I bought him in the for the, his regular edition. We're going to look at two of my favorite players from Bayern Munich that made it onto the Dream Team Chronicle squad in season one. We have got Davies and we have got Goretzka, their two versions of their cards as well. So for Davies, he's got seven levels. Goretzka's got seven levels. So we max both of them out and we put his quick counter up one. We put his quick counter up one. And then obviously we're just going to be like, you know, we don't need to touch Davies' speed. Obviously that's a big thing. So, you know, Davies', Davies speed here is an 84 and an 84. So that being a six upgrade is a huge upgrade. Obviously he's 10 points more than him overall. So that's where the, the stats do come in. I think this is probably one of the biggest discrepancy cards as in you can train Davies up to be really rocket quick but it is going to cost a lot to train up those six points and then obviously you're going to have the dribbling as well because his dribbling is 76 his ball control is 69 and 66 there for tight possession whereas with him you don't really need to touch his speed so you can just pump in everything depending on how you want to play him if you want to play him as a defensive minded uh player you can just bring him to, you know, that and then put him in his aerial strength and bring him up to a 91 rated uh, left back. That's like really good tackler, really good, you know, strength, everything like that. Just solid, solid, solid across the board. Or if you wanted to turn him into a left midfielder, you can just take away from that and you can put the dribbling up. You know, you can go up to that with the dribbling right there you can put his passing up a little bit and you can put his dexterity and his speed up one as well to a 91 overall now as i said to you lads with the regular version of the card you can actually max this guy out very very quickly um if, if we go up here and we give him three for quick counter which he brings him up to an 86 bring him up one more and then we're going to just pump it in right if we go to 91 on this if we go to 91 on this and then we go to the dribbling we bring that up to like a seven we bring his passing up to a seven. You can actually train this guy up very, very, very decently that you can actually have a player that's, I won't say he's superior, but he definitely holds his own against any other version of the card that's there. You don't need finishing and heading with your wingers or your like wide players. Um, so again, that is up to you guys what you think. They're very equal cards. I just think with Davies, he does, you know, he does have that that you can kind of balance him a little bit more with all the standard versions of the card. And for 150,000 GP, it's very, very cheap. Last but not least, we do have Goretzka, who is probably one of my favorite CMFs in the game. He's he's just absolutely incredible, lads. He's so good. He just gets on so much ball. He's like your proper, proper CMF breaker. Kind of reminds me of Steven Gerrard, of how Gerrard used playing the older Pez titles. So, yeah, make it out what you wish. But, um, yeah, ac excellent stats across the board. Obviously, his pace will need a little bit of a boost up to maybe 75 his speed is quite all right and then you're probably just going to be defending um an aerial strength and maybe one passing to bring him up into that i mean 89 tackling 87 physical contact 75 acceleration 78 speed if he's just going to be your disruptor he is a very very decent player again but uh, as we said right this is the normal version of him 280,000. yeah he's a bit expensive but if we bring this up put him into a 99 on that and then we're going to boost up all of these to like an eight so all of these here, we can bring that up and we can actually get him a little bit faster um, than he needs to be. We can take that down a little or take the aerial strength down a little bit, keep that up. We can put his passing up a little bit more. We can put that up a little bit more, his aerial strength up a little bit more. You're going to get a 91 rated Goretzka um, with some excellent stats as well. You know, you've got your 86 tackling, you've got your 85 physical contact, but you've got a faster uh, version of Goretzka. So yeah, that is it for me, lads. I think, as I said, you know, it's up to you guys whether you actually buy the packs or not. Um, I will be back with another episode where we will look at uh, Manchester United and we will look at some of the other squads as well um, I'll probably link in United and City um, and then we'll do two or three at a time so yeah look let me know I'm trying to go into a lot of detail with it and as I said lads for every single player that you see here for every player that you have like there is you know of the legend version or whatever with a little bit of tweaking and with a bit of training and a bit of grinding and a bit of like you know training them up with the progression points and getting all that XP there is an alternative for any of these players that you have here. You know, Kimmich is a really good example. Obviously, the price is a factor, but when you do his stats, stat for stat, like, I would prefer this standard version of Kimmich. Do you know what I mean? Because, like, take away the shiny look of the card, and yeah, the card looks cool and all that, but if I had 700,000 GP and I'm looking to buy Kimmich, like, 
he's an absolute unit that you can train up exactly how you want him. I like the training. Whereas if you just want a ready-made squad, you know, this Bayern squad is probably the best pound for pound in the game. So yeah, that is it for the episode, lads. It's a slightly longer one, but hopefully I went into a lot of detail. Um, and I will be back quite soon with another one. Peace.